Hi everyone, this is Andy with Bongo.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the integration between SMS Magic and Zoho CRM so you can send text messages to your CRM records. I have created a blog post where you can find the written tutorial as well as more information that we will use to set up SMS Magic. All right, let's get started. For this tutorial, we have two prerequisites. The first one is that you have to have an SMS Magic account already. The second one is that a phone number, also known as a sender ID, should have been assigned to your SMS Magic account. If you don't have a sender ID, you have to contact SMS Magic for them to assign it. All right, let's log into SMS Magic using our Zoho CRM account. And this is the get started page. The first thing we're gonna do is check that we have a sender ID assigned to our account. On the top bar, click on settings and then on SMS services. As you can see, I have a phone number assigned to me, which is my sender ID. If you don't see any numbers on this page, contact SMS Magic. You can have multiple sender IDs and you will need one for each country code where you want to send text messages. For example, if you want to send text messages in the US and Canada, you only need one sender ID because both countries have the same country code. But if you want to send messages in the US and India, you will need two sender IDs. Okay, now that we know that we have a send ID assigned, let's go to Zoho CRM. Then we're gonna click on the setup and go to all under marketplace. Here we're going to search for SMS magic. This is the app. And click on install. And then scroll down and select this box. And click on install. Now we have to agree to the terms of service and authorize SMS magic. Continue to install. Now choose if you want to install this extension for admins only or for all users. You can change this later in the settings. I'm going to choose install for all users. And now the extension is installing. All right, the SMS magic extension has been installed. So let's set up the sender ID. Let's click on the three dots and find the SMS sender ID module. It is this one right here, so I'm gonna open it. Now we have to create a sender ID with this button and go back to your SMS Magic account to the SMS services tab. Let's copy the number. Back to the CRM and paste the number on the SMS sender ID name field as well as on the sender ID field. Now let's save this record. Okay, we have completed the setup, so we should be able to send messages. Let's go to the contacts tab and select any contact using the checkbox. As you can see up here, we have a new button that allows us to send messages. And you can select multiple contacts if you want to send the same message to more than one contact. Something I didn't mention before is that when we install the extension, some preferences were configured automatically like this button, but we can add other buttons or even create workflows that send messages automatically. If you want to learn more about that, please check the other videos about SMS magic that we have on this channel. So to send a text message, you have to make sure that the contact you selected has a phone number on the phone field. Now let's click on the send SMS button. This will open the SMS magic website. Here we have to select the sender ID and we have the option to select a template if we have one, but in my case, I'm gonna type the message. Now click on send and finally click on send. The message has been sent, so let's open the SMS history. And here's where you can see all the messages you have sent and received. You can also see the messages from the contacts profile in the CRM, but check out the other SMS magic videos for more information. I sent this message to my Google Voice account, so let's switch to it. And here we can see the text message. We can reply to it, and the answer will be sent to SMS magic. So let's go back and click where it says Converse Desk. And this is a response we got. If we open it, we can see that it's just like a normal chat. The last thing I'm gonna show you is how to add this Converse Desk to the CRM so you can easily access it from the CRM. For this, we're gonna use a specific link, but I want to point out that it is not this one. It is very similar, but it has some extra parameters. Okay, let's go back to the CRM and then click on the setup. Click on modules and fields, and then on web tabs. Let's add a new tab. The name is gonna be Converse Desk. The source is gonna be a link. And I already copied the link before, 
So I'm gonna paste it here, but you can find a link on the blog post that is in the description. In this case, the access is gonna be for admins only. You can add other profiles if you need to. Finally, let's save it. And we can open the Converse Desk by clicking here. As you can see, it opened inside the CRM and we have now a new tab on the navigation bar. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please click the like button. Also, check out the other SMS magic videos we have on this channel. If you're a Zoho admin and would like to learn more about how to integrate the different Zoho apps, we created a Zoho One class that covers how to configure and integrate the top 10 most useful apps. Check out the links in the description for more information. Thanks for watching.